So Quaylen and Chevelle are booed up in the house and Quaylen's gonna meet his sister who he hasn't seen in 12 good years, okay? So they're gonna meet up and they meet up and it's amazing. They have this amazing embrace. He's obviously strong, so she's kind of dangling here and there and Quaylen's mom, mom is there as well. So Chevelle and all of them, they, they get together, whatever. And Quaylen, no, Chevelle is organizing a welcome home party for Quaylen at her crib. Is it her crib? I think it's her crib. And all the families are supposed to come together. This is where things get very interesting. Okay, so all the families are supposed to come together. And yeah, Quaylon is off. For the first time in 12 years, he's going to a store. He's going to get himself an outfit. It's very strange that Chevelle came to see Quaylon in prison. And his sister's like, I find it really strange that you already moved on. Like, you've got this, this very established relationship with Chevelle. And it's like, he... <laughs> He, but he hasn't seen the sister in 12 years. This is what I don't understand. He hasn't seen the sister in 12 years. So, does that mean that she never went to visit him in all the 12 years, but Chevelle did? Like, I don't understand that. Can we just talk about Quaylen's hair as well? Like, these these locks? Those are, those are some of the tightest, most defined, most juicy, amazing, healthy looking locks I have ever seen. They look amazing. I don't know who up in that prison doing locks, but they're doing a better job than some of these people out here. His locks look amazing. In any case, he gets into a little bit of a discussion with his long lost sister. Cause she's like, she doesn't want him to stay where he is. I can't even remember where it is, but he doesn't want her. I think it's Kansas city where Chevelle lives. And they want him to come to Houston, Texas, something like that. It could be other cities. I don't know. But they don't think it's a good place for him to be where he is right now. That's going to be a whole big deal because they've been waiting for 12 years. Chevelle just came around the corner recently. Not to say that she hasn't suffered. She hasn't been holding it down for him. But 12 years is a long time. And that's his mom. And that's his big sister. So that's going to... That might cause some problem here and there. Oh my goodness. So Chevelle's cousin, D-Mark is his name. He looks very apprehensive as she's explaining, okay, we want these these decorations to be here and there so that when Quaylon comes in, it's like this and like that. And he's like, hmm, I guess. And then she's like, come with me. I want to do something. I just need you to come with me and we're going to figure something out. So they go to this place and there's all, like, first of all, actually, before this, um, she's like, I'm quite interested to see how you and Quaylon are going to get along because you... You never liked any of my boyfriends and then she's like no he's like never and then um what do you call it they get they roll up to this place and there's all these cars everywhere and he's like why are we here with all these cars is that a car lot yeah stay tuned and turns out Chevelle has reserved a car a truck for quailon and it's a five thousand dollar truck you buying a car you bought a car for yourself no and so this d mark guy oh her cousin is going off and he's like all you know is calls and visitations. You do not know this guy. You've given him a starter pack. He's he, he good. This can be like an escape vehicle for him. He can just take the vehicle and slide. To life. You've given him like, he can just take this car and go. And she's like, no, he's not going to do oh, that. Think about it. He actually could. He's got a stable family unit. He's got his mom. He's got his sister, right? He could go back. He could go back there. He could, you know. You know, it's visitation and phone calls. My thing that I never understand, for instance, this woman has got a five-year-old daughter. How's her college fund looking? How is her, is there money in the bank for that little girl? Because she will grow up and she won't need to go to uni, she won't need to go to college and all the rest of it. So this is where I always think things are very, very interesting. When they spend all this money and they're just, just not thinking about the future of their own, like before doing all this, like you don't even really know him yet. He has this car now. He's going to get this car to go where exactly? Like, I totally understand the cousin's frustration. Where exactly is he going with this car? Where is he going with this car? She indeed is giving him a whole starter pack. All these people are giving them clothes, everything, credit card. And next thing you know, they bounce. Next thing you know, they're gone. So... How is he going to make y'all good? You the only person making y'all good. <laughs> what was that weird shot from the car looking down on them? These producers are getting more and more creative. Okay, you should be happy. Some of the people there, 
spending fifty thousand dollars and even crazier amounts on people that they've never either they've never met they've never seen like so many ridiculous things well look at 90 day fiance people are blowing money but the thing is if chevelle obviously also doesn't really have the means to be doing all this then it's kind of weird then it's like girl what are you doing and why are you doing it you know that's the thing what chevelle has done now is made it really annoying to the family members and everybody to actually get to meet quaylon because already they don't like him and even though he never probably asked for the truck chevelle did that out of her own accord but this is the kind of stuff that's going to put people off quaylon because they're going to think he's a gold digger he's the one who wanted this and all these type of things because you ain't never met him i really don't like him so this is this was not a good move she could have done this another time she could have waited a few weeks the whole thing is crazy but at the same time Sometimes in these shows, it looks as if these people do not work, they do not do anything, but we see they're all in these amazing houses and stuff like that. So I don't think that's the case. And I guess when Chevelle is out doing her own stuff and she's going to work or whatever, Quaylon still needs to, you know, he still also needs to get around and stuff like that. And I don't know how quickly after getting out of prison you are able to just drive and do certain things. I don't know. I don't know if you're just allowed to do those things because does he have a driver's license? Is it still in date? Did he make a new driver's license? Like how does this stuff even work? I don't know. But anyway, tomorrow we'll be talking about another couple. So definitely stay tuned. Now, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stop. As also on the subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think, like because you obviously like this video, and hit the <laughs> notification bell while you're at it. Big time for glorious life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm. Oh, and my channel does other stuff as well. This is a lifestyle channel. We do everything up in here. Every single weekday, you're gonna get a video of love after lockup couples, but here and there throughout the week, I'll be sprinkling other commentary videos. And I've got lifestyle videos as well because it's a lifestyle channel. We do everything up in here. So make sure you're here and part of it. See you tomorrow.